Welcome. This podcast is all about geographical changes that you can investigate and how you can investigate them. It covers section 5 on the project tip list. The most important thing to do when starting to find out and think about changes in your local area is to talk to people. Older people tend to have a very good perspective on change that is happening in their area. Follow up any opinions that, or ideas that you get from other people. Use a search engine such as Google to find articles. The best place to look for articles on local issues is in local newspapers. From these you can get the facts. But if you scroll down you may also find comments and points of view on the change. The BBC website is also very good and has a local BBC News area. Blogs, forums, Twitter and Facebook groups can be very useful for finding points of view on changes. But practice internet safety when you're using these and make sure your parents know that you're using them. When you're using articles such as this one from the BBC about the changes to Reading Station there are a number of things that you must bear in mind. The first one is the source. This comes from the BBC which is a reliable source. They need to print the correct facts. Here I've scrolled down and I've found people's points of view. These points of view are really useful. They tell me what people think. They tell me who is for, for the development and who is against it. And it also tells me why. However, I must bear in mind that these are opinions and not facts. The facts are contained in the article, the opinions are in the comments at the bottom of the article. And I must report the opinions as such. I need to be very careful with opinions because they are biased. This means that they only show one point of view. Here are some ideas of geographical changes that could be happening in the areas near you. Pubs could be closing. You could have local post offices closing in your area. There may be some big housing developments. Or some transport changes. There could be new shops, offices or other businesses. Here are a couple of geographical issues that you could also be investigating. One is crime and the other flooding. On this page I've put together a number of articles that I've found on some changes that are happening in our local area. You can pause the podcast here to follow up any of these URLs. When we're investigating changes we must remember to do it geographically. In the first podcast we talked about IKEA locating at Junction 12. The first thing we must do is describe what is happening. What is IKEA? Where is it planning to locate? The next thing we must do is explain why it is happening. Could it be because Reading doesn't have an IKEA? Could it be because Junction 12 is a very accessible location? The third thing we need to do is analyse. We need to give some of the good points, so maybe it brings lots of jobs, or the bad points, maybe it will create a lot of traffic congestion. The next thing we need to do is think of points of view. So we could ask, find out what locals think about it, who's for it, who's against it, but we could also use the internet to find out the opinions maybe of the mayor of Reading or of some of the directors of IKEA. A good step for challenge seekers to take is to try to evaluate the change. This is to say, overall, is it a good change or a bad change? And who is it a good change or bad change for? So to summarise, when we're looking at changes in our local area, these are the things that we'll be looking at. Anything new that's happening near to you that is to do with geography. That means the human and physical features in your local area. And how are we going to investigate it? Number one is to talk to other people and number two is to research the change that we decide to look at. When we're researching it and writing it up, we must make sure we cover five steps. Describing, explaining, analysing, giving points of view and for challenge seekers, evaluating. Good luck with investigating changes and make sure you listen to the other podcasts.